you're looking for a great cybersecurity, a great data science, and a very good web development fellowship program, then this video is for you. This one is by the Knowledge House. They just opened their fellowship program. It's a 12 week program and it's super good if you are somebody who has a nine to five and looking for something that you can do outside of work hours or on the weekend. So again, this one is a 12 week program that comes with a monthly stipend. So not only is it good that you can do in conjunction with your normal day-to-day -day work as a family person or have a regular job but it also has a stipend so you're making a little bit more extra income while learning something new or enhancing your cybersecurity, web development or data science career so certifications are involved and there is much more and we're gonna look at that right now in this video so let's jump in again this one is one that you can do like pretty much anytime and again it's by the knowledge house so if you're looking to you know have mentors or teachers in people that can help you in your career they have that and we're gonna look at that in a second as well as you know just opportunities to network meet professionals within your aspiring career or field it's really just a good program as far as what i've read into so this is by the knowledge house this is their 2025 innovation fellowship we're gonna look at the application process in a second but what you get is an aws certified cloud practitioner certification you also get a ux designer certification i always say on this channel <laughs> if i were to do it all over again i would do ux ui i know you know you can come in and say it's easy to pivot, but I just feel like I'm so far gone from that where if I were to pivot now, it, it, it's just too much. But I really friends that I know who are doing UX UI, they enjoy their work. It's something that I think I would do so well in as far as just being creative. And I don't know why I didn't know it existed till like two years ago, but I digress. This is for you, right? You get uh, Microsoft certified Azure data fundamentals. You also get AWS security certification, CompTIA plus good stuff basis a lot of companies looking for this a lot of organizations looking for this just to get your foot in the door so you being able to get a come to your security plus is great and you also get a ca pm certification as well as other uh isaka and uh isc square certifications as well so what is this about right the innovation fellowship provides partnerships with tech skills training career exposure and networking opportunities across three high growth tracks data science web development and cybersecurity. This 12 month program, fellows receive a monthly education stipend for maintaining satisfactory academic standing. So you gotta be, you gotta be doing the work now. You gotta be doing the work and maintain academic standing. You get a stipend. Does not disclose how much that stipend is. So if you've been through this program or if you've completed the application process and you know, let us know in the comment down below. And as well, you get provided peer mentorship so this is something that is great a lot of people need this a lot of people don't have this youtube is great and by the way subscribe to this channel because i bring videos like this and it's good stuff but you need somebody who you can tap to in text and email or call mentors are important in this kind of fields and the tech industry roles offer well-paid positions when you complete this program so being able to go through a 12 month program have any one of these or multiple other certifications in 12 months you can do at least at least two maybe three in 12 months then you will put yourself in position to win the innovation fellowship program will be offered in the new york area newark and atlanta area for the data science python web development cybersecurity. if you're in the dc area cybersecurity, a lot of jobs in the cybersecurity area in the dc area los angeles data science or python as well as web development a lot of web development jobs in the uh, Los Angeles area because you know all the big tech companies are out there so you could really just go through the link to this is going to be down below in the description I always put links down below in the description for people who come and say they can't find the links it's there and I'm not gonna indulge your laziness and it's there and pardon me if that was rude but it's always there respectfully <laughs> so you can go ahead and read more in terms of you know the resource support education stipend um career support services as well as industry engagement in terms of what you'll be learning right in data science you'll be learning full the full extent of python programming languages which is very needed if you want to know how you know data science and programming how to access how to clean how to analyze web data and how to work directly with databases so python sql and the program graduates are prepared to pursue entry-level positions. In terms of web development, in the New York, Atlanta, Los Angeles area, you will learn industry tools that uh, power popular apps and create beautiful, fast, responsive interfaces like meta stuff. And if you want to learn cybersecurity, you also be, you know, participating in programs that will put you in 
in position to get entry-level jobs in IT, networking, application security, and different things of that sort. In terms of eligibility, who can actually apply to these programs? I know a lot of people watch from you know Nigeria, a lot of people watch from India, a lot of people watch from Europe on my channel, and I really appreciate you. I'm listen, I'm trying my hardest to find things that cater to y'all. Please stay subscribed, don't unsubscribe. Tell your friends about this channel. I try every day to bring stuff that you guys can benefit from. But in terms of eligibility, got to be in these states, New, New York, New Jersey area, Atlanta area, Los Angeles area, and DC area. And you got to be 18 years or older, make less than $60,000 a year or less than 50. If you're in Atlanta or Washington, DC, you got to have a high school diploma or GED equivalent. You got to be authorized to work in the United States or have a visa. Got to speak and understand English and you got to possess basic, very basic, basic, basic computer skills. I don't think they will hound you on this. And you got to complete the entire recruiting process uh, and pass some assessments and complete the prerequisites fun foundational courses. So that's what it is. So if you can commit 36 hours per week, right, you know, in between jobs or after hours, if you can demonstrate an immediate computer literacy, if you can use Google Drive. You know stuff that you know you will be good for this if you can demonstrate the ability to work independently or with groups kind of like just going to school online right if you've been if you've been to school and had blackboard or whatever means you communicated with your teacher you can do this thing right if you can uh you know manage your time well and you know be resourceful and just you know have the motivation you would do well with this program in a second we're going to look at the application process but they have some questions here for people who are asking you know questions frequently you can have your answers there and they have people here who have been through the program this look like ai i don't know why he looked like ai <laughs> but this is legit i promise you this is legit coming from a reputable source and i vetted it right this guy's gone through the work for apple she's gone through the work for red hat he's gone through the work for barclays i had a barclays um credit card before but it was going through apple and it closed and she's gone through the work for change food and good and they have a lot more stuff here you can look it up and it's verified and legit. So let's check out the application process here. Nothing too serious, just the basic stuff. You're not gonna be writing no essays. If you have a previous resume, you can attach it and it would pretty much just pre-populate the stuff. You can click next and apply and uh, just wait to hear back. So this is the Knowledge House 2025 Innovation Fellowship Program. I would suggest that you get cracking on this and apply that way. You can go ahead and be in line to get calls and go through the uh, pre-assessment process and see if you qualify, see if you're going to get picked up. Just as a bonus, if you, you know, looking to help somebody out, they also have a high school program for anybody who's looking to learn coding. Again, you got to be in high school, high school youth. But if you have some kids that you mentor or some kids that, you know, you want to share this with, definitely check that out. It's here in their programs. It's called a Kareem Kerboff Coding Fellowship. And the one that we just looked at is the Innovation Fellowship. So definitely get involved with this. Again, these are the locations and read about this program here. The link is down below in the description. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Wanted to bring it to your attention. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments. Subscribe, share this video so you can keep growing this community. I appreciate you if you're watching. And uh, I will see you in the next video. My name is Flex. Peace.